Welcome to News 9. I'm Mr. Tain. First up, a massive protest will be organized today in support of the 362 KAS probationers at Freedom Park. The pro probationers who have been protesting since June 19th are expected to call off the protest and rob the legal route. Former Chief Minister H.T. Kumaraswamy will be present at the Freedom Park today. And the KPSC protest has been growing louder with each passing day after the government decided that uh, all the recruits of uh, 2011 KPSC will be scrapped. 362 probationers came out in the open and accused the government of being insensitive. And in view of uh, the protest gaining momentum, former Chief Minister Kumaraswamy has joined hands and now there will be a massive rally that will be held from Freedom Park. In fact, traffic jams are expected in Majestic and KR Circle areas. The KPSC candidates are planning to hold a rally. Around 5,000 protesters are expected to gather at the Freedom Park. Police have warned motorists to avoid roads near Freedom Park next to Maharani's College in central Bengaluru. Well, the different diversions that commuters can opt for is that commuters can take a left near Oaklipuram Railway Underbridge. Those going southwards or towards Majestic need to take a right at Okalipuram Junction and reach Margadi Road and then take Bini Mill Road. Anand Rao Circle flyover will be closed and those coming from Maleshwaram and Rajajinagar have to reach Basaveshwara Circle near RC Circle at the junction of Palace Road and Race Coast Road. From Basaveshwara Circle, motorists can move towards KR Circle. Via Palace Road, commuters can take Sheshadripuram Main Road to reach Majestic. Those coming from Vijayanagar and Magadi Road need to reach Punise Maradha Junction and take a left to reach Bini Mill Road and Sirsi Circle to go southwards. Parking curbs are also in place on Palace Road from Maharani Circle and near Freedom Park. And moving on now, one of the most celebrated yoga gurus of India, BKS Iyengar, passed away today after his condition steadily deteriorated over the past one month. The 96-year-old founder of Iyengar Yoga had towards the end become, a dependent, become dependent on nasogastric tube to provide him with liquid sustenance at a hospital in Pune. Iyengar's heart's current ejection fraction had reduced to 20%, leading to inadequate blood being supplied to vital organs. The weakened heart muscles even led to renal failure and the yoga guru was kept in dialysis. Nephrologists from Mumbai's Just Lok Hospital visited him on Sunday so that fluid as well as toxins accumulated in the blood are removed slowly with the help of CRRT machine. Iyengar had been ill for three weeks prior to hospitalization and after battling multiple ailments for several days, he breathed his last. AKS Iyengar or Belur Krishnamachara Sundararaj Iyengar Born on the 14th of December 1918, founded the style of yoga known as Iyengar Yoga and is considered to be one of the foremost yoga teachers in the world. He has written many books on yoga practice and philosophy including Light on Yoga, Light on Pranayama and Light on the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Iyengar Yoga classes are offered throughout the world. Iyengar was one of the earliest students of Tirumalai Krishnamacharya who is often referred to as the father of modern yoga. After modern yoga had arisen from the teachings of Krishnamacharya, it was Iyengar who established it. He has been credited for establishing and popularizing yoga firstly in India and then around the world. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1991, the Padma Bhushan in 2002 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2014. In 2004, Iyengar was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine. Well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi condoled the death of the legendary yoga guru. He said generations will remember Sri BKS Iyengar as a fine guru, scholar and a stalwart who brought yoga into the lives of many across the world. Well, BKS Iyengar was born into a poor Iyengari family in Kolar district. And uh, he was the 11th of 13 children of Father Shri Krishnamachara school teacher and Mother Sheshama. Iyengar's home village in ba of Belur in Karnataka was uh, in the grip of influenza pandemic at the time of his birth, leaving him sickly and weak. And throughout his childhood, he struggled with various diseases. 
like malaria, tuberculosis, typhoid and general malnutrition. When he was five years old, his family moved to Bengaluru and it was in 1934 that his brother-in-law, the yogi Sri Tirumalai Krishnamacharya asked Iyengar, who was just about 15 years old, to come to Mysore to improve his health through yoga practice. There Iyengar learnt asana practice which steadily improved his health and that is where the legend began. And well, the additional police commissioner, Alok Kumar, raided Parapana Graharaji late last night. The raid was conducted based on complaints that there were mobiles and other material being used inside the central jail. The cops recovered over 20 mobile phones, marijuana packets, cash and pen drives. Eight zone DCP Ravi and a team of four other DCPs raided the prison under Alok Kumar and seized several important documents. The sleuths were looking for contraband in the central prison in Parapana Grahara. Around 100 policemen raided the Bangalore central prison in Parapana Grahara looking for contraband following information about the increasing use of mobile phones illegally <coughs> by inmates. <coughs> Well, the team led by additional commissioner of police of law and order Alok Kumar checked for mobile phones, SIM cards, cash, liquor and even marijuana which is reportedly available in abundance inside the jail. It may be recalled that the police had arrested a notorious burglar who had been tutored by prison inmates and was also in touch with the inmates over his phone. Stop for Kondo, KSRP do now Nalko at Platon KSRP do Kuaito, but then a civil Sibandi Kura PSI Mate, SI, Edu PC Guru, Urukura Laidare. They were Jotigan now Hogi, Ali, search now in the prison at the Kari Jotig, now Ali Madi. A search will a Kelvu was to go to Sikide, other than now personally now Marta. Personally, Mart Kondo and other now not to another incriminating either Mundain Marbeko, the now not to Nama Meradikari Kamaki Kura letter to you. So it won't be the Kundu. Prison authority can support Madi than it is there. Carry support it, Matayaru, Jail Olgade, Kuda, Alinda, Kitapati, Madli, Kayaru, Dharia, Madbardo, Matali, Akram Chatuat, Nadisbardo. So I don't do prison authorities can do Sakar Nidlik and Avili Bandi. Well, we have time and again reported on how crimes against women seem to be increasing with each passing day. Even though women have started raising their voices against the perpetrators, the law seems to deny them justice. Here is one such story. The woman you see here on the hospital bed is recovering from severe burn injuries. As you can clearly see, her torso is covered with burn marks. If you think she sustained these injuries from an accident, you are mistaken. The wounds were inflicted by her own brother-in-law and his wife, for whom she worked as a housemaid. Ali, na mai leer beda wo gunta kalsuru. Adi ke na bere mane mar kandi do. Adi ke aur mane le onde on tingli kanta kalsu ko de. Obe kadre kur kuli kor tirli la. Manu bandpute mane ge bere mane kalsu ko itai de. Avaga na mane ge kalsu parala. Bere mane kalsu ko itai la. Anto ganda bandu arda. Ganda bandu arda pe kadre yuni arti bandpute anna mar ta kuti de. Yette usu kuti kuti ganji na mai mane sodo putlo sa. She lives in HD Kote in Mysore with her husband. They were having a peaceful life until the incident happened. But what's worse is what came next. She was immediately rushed to a hospital while her husband approached the police. Increase in crime against women has forced Bengaluru police to act swiftly, but this does not seem to be the case with the cops who Kumar approached. Hey, 
ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನೆ ಹಳೆ ನಾ ಬತ್ತಿ ನಡೆಯೋ ಹಂಗೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರು ಸರ್ ಬನ್ನಿ ಸರ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಸರ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಇಂದೆ ಪುನಃ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಲ ಹೋದ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಸಲ ಹೇಳೋದು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ನಿನಗೆ ಹೋಗು ಅಂತಂದರು ಆಗ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಬಂದು ಪುನಃ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ಓಡ್ದೆ ಪುನಃ ಸರ್ ಬಂದಿರೋಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಪುನಃ ಬಂದಿರೋಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಅಂತಂದೆ ಆಗ ಬರ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇನೋ ಹಂಗೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಏನ್ಬಿಡಿ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೂರ್ಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ನನಗೆ ಶೂ ಕಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಎತ್ತಿ ಕಿವಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹೊಡ್ದು ನೋಡಿ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಡೆಯೆಲ್ಲ ಊದಾಗಿದೆ ಪೂರ್ತ ಜಯಣ್ಣ ನಂಜಪ್ಪ ಅನ್ಬಿಡಿ ಸರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಒಂದರ ಸಾವಿರ ಆಯ್ತು ಜೋಬಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಕಿತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಆಸ್ಪೆಲ್ ಕರ್ಕೆ ನಾಷ್ಟು ಕಾಸು ಇತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ದ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಅಫೀಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೂಟ್ ದಮ್ ಅವೇ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅಸಾಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಆನ್ ಡೆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ and injured kumar took his wife who too was suffering from severe injuries to the court in a desperate attempt to seek justice this is when the judge hanmant raj had them admitted to the hospital he strongly expressed his disapproval of the inaction of police but no further steps seem to have been taken in this regard while the state capital had erupted in protest against atrocities against women and children incidents like these continues to occur in other parts of the state in this case the police allegedly reacted with hostility against the victim's husband instead of questioning the accused is this how the law imposed is the question ram for news 9 mysore well it's a serious offense to insult the national anthem and the nation and one youngster learned this the hard way when he tried to make fun of the country with his friends but his friends refused to let him get away with such a crime here's a report Jabir Khan is a final year BCom student at VV Baliga College in Kumta village of Uttara Kannada district. This college student is now behind bars. What crime did he commit? Well on the occasion of Independence Day, Jabir received a clipping of the national anthem in Tulu language with mocking lyrics. Excited after seeing this, Jabir forwarded the same message to his other friends on a group chat on WhatsApp. One of his friends Rakshit who received the message on the group reportedly objected to it that is when a war of words began on WhatsApp Jabir who mocked at the national anthem did not stop just there he allegedly replied to Rakshit's message with more such insulting remarks and this time it was on India the true patriot Rakshit did not let Jabir get away with making such degrading remarks about his motherland unable to take such serious allegations against his country rakshit wanted to teach jabir a lesson college il banda nan police station ni karkond hogi avan mele ond complaint kottu onal ta opkonda first first starting opkollilla avanu nande mobile la nan number alla adu id yar message madidnu na message madalla anta first argue maadlik try madda but amela ad proof strong ith helkondu avanu adanna opli avanu opkonda nane maadiddu adanna ant heli mele helada mat yak maadiddu keladre nan maskiri maade ant helada The police have arrested the accused and have booked him for treason. But this case did not just end here. The villagers of Kumta learning of this incident took to city-wide protests and condemned the act. National anthem manna tirichi audit madida edit madidare idanna navellaru idi Kumta da janate kandisidivi ugra horata madidivi idakke kaarana ee reethi ondu ghatane Uttar Kannada jilleyalli ಕಳೆದ ಹಲವಾರು ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಭಾಳ ತೀಕ್ಷಣ ಆಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಡು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಕಠಿಣ ಕ್ರಮ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ದಿ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಶರ್ ದಿ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಅಕ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫರ್ ದೇ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಸಂದೀಪ್ ಸಾಗರ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ 9 ಕಾರ್ವಾರ್